me just kind of start out this video by saying on camera that I'm not generally a Kershaw fan. They don't really fall into the five areas in which I judge and weigh knives before I buy them. Number one being size. Some of Kershaw's stuff is, is actually perfect. They're spot on size for EDC. I, I don't really fall too much into the larger knife category as small knives simply are able to do more. They're easier to, to maneuver. So Kershaw actually kind of nails it almost every time in that. Blade shape, they do a decent job. And, and in all honesty, every company kind of wibbles along the, the nice edge, I guess, if, if we really have to, to be a little punny in there. But for the most part, Kershaw kind of wobbles along that line with every other company. Blade steel. This is where Kershaw really, really fails in my opinion. And I know the argument is, well, knives at that price point can't have fantastic blade steel. Well, that's not necessarily true, especially if we look at some of the, the stuff to have come out lately out of China with Kaiser knives. I'm not going to go and get into the argument of buy USA, but my point is, if you're going to have something that comes in from overseas, you can still have decent blade steels on it. Number four, pocketability. This is kind of where Kershaw, in my opinion, also fails a little bit. And we're going to roll into number five with the pocket clip at the same time. For me, pocketability and pocket clip fall right behind each other because your knife spends 90% of its carry time in your pocket. We're not running around with our knives out of our pocket, generally. So when we get some designs with ugly pocket clips that stick out really far, like, I'm just going to throw it out there, the leak, beautiful knife, great knife, pocket clip, no can do because you have so much of it sticking out. And the same can kind of be said with this one if you decide to carry tip up. So, anyways, I don't generally tend to carry Kershaw's because they don't fall into my five categories. However, ever so often, we do get one that succeeds. And this, my friends, is the Blade HQ exclusive Kershaw Skyline in full carbon. So let's just kind of talk about the blade first and foremost on this. The blade is S30V and it's got a partial flat grind. And as we see, the blade is just ever so thin, which means this is a fantastic little slicer. I've actually been very impressed with the blade shape on this. It, it cuts very well and the steel on it just keeps going. I, I know that uh, that the guy that I'm actually borrowing this from, Adam, he put his own edge on there with his own mirror polish. So, hey man, thanks a lot for the temporary trade. I've been very impressed. But the blade on this is just very, very impressive. It's actually, in my opinion, one of the best S30Vs I've seen. It just, it just does so well. It holds up very nicely, and uh, and yeah, and so. Kind of while we're on the, the subject of the blade, let's move to the flipper. I'm not a big flipper guy. I, I actually really don't like flippers. That's why I moved away from the CRKT. It's got a flipper. Flippers, in my opinion, create an, an obtrusive bulge in your pocket that slams against everything else in your pocket, including your cell phone, our very expensive cell phones. I don't like flippers. I, I really kind of moved out of that phase after my first year in the knife kingdom but in all honesty this flipper is very well executed so there's a pull flip and then it can actually be done with a push so we'll get that one more time pull and push the flipper is just it's done very very nicely and it's not that obtrusive I mean I think the only way the flipper could be better is if it was riding on ball bearings and it had more of a flipper along the size of the Leaks flipper tab. But with that being said, with this just riding on phosphor bronze washers, this flipper is done very, very nicely and I like it. The, the ease of deployment is just phenomenal. It's just, it's just great. So let's kind of move on to the hand a little bit and, uh, and I'll try and get a nice good zoom in here. Kershaw really spared no expense on their handle. If we move into here, we can tell that these are actually full carbon slabs. In a lot of rights, 
This reminds me a lot of the Benchmade 940-1 Osborne. As we see with this one, it's kind of got the same little pattern going on with the carbon fiber. So great job Kershaw in bringing this full carbon scaled knife. As we also know, Skylines are famous for their one-sided frame and I don't think it needs two sides to the frame. The knife is very rigid in hand and a lot of that does come from the fact that carbon fiber is also rigid but it's just done very very nicely and it keeps the weight down. It keeps the weight so down. It the thing just disappears in your pocket, but man, just just look at that carbon fiber. It is it is flawless. The only two flaws I found in it is right there, where it's kind of chipped a little bit due to the lanyard hole, and right there on the pocket clip hole. But there's no divots in, in the carbon fiber at all. I spent quite a bit of time examining very intently and very closely to make sure. So they did an excellent job with their carbon fiber on this knife. I've been very impressed. And then let's kind of move to the backspacer, and that's whenever I tend to find a little bit of issue. If we see here, the backspacer right there isn't fully aligned. And I know this isn't a $300 knife, which means it's more acceptable. But even then, that backspacer is definitely off. And it's only FRN. It would have been really cool to actually see this in carbon as well or something. I mean, I think if you're a custom maker, or not a custom maker, sorry, a custom knife modder, if you were to turn this into a beaten copper that would look really cool but yeah I'm just I'm just so impressed with the handle guys and let's move to the pocket clip this is where my only real issue other than the flipper comes in because the flipper on this knife is actually acceptable this is the ugliest pocket clip Kershaw makes I know it's effective but you have this absolutely beautiful, st just gorgeous, stunning knife, and you flip it over, and you've got this piece of metal just kind of sitting there. I've not been very impressed with any of Kershaw's pocket clips that do this, guys. I, I feel that it's actually distracting from the knife. So regardless of how effective it is, there's no reason to not have a good pocket clip on your knife, a good looking pocket clip, especially to follow up with something like this. And also, now that I'm going to zoom back in on it again, my buddy Adam lives where it's very warm and very humid out. And if we look right here, yeah, right there, these are actually rust spots developing on the pocket clip. Now, thankfully, they're not developing anywhere else on this knife. I mean, not on the liners, not on the blade, nowhere else. So nowhere really, really important. But on that pocket clip, you can see it's even down here where it says Kershaw. It's developing the rust spots. And I think if they would have stonewashed the pocket clip, number one, it would have looked way cooler because the blade is stonewashed and the pocket clip is bead blasted or media blasted. But when you bead blast and media blast things, you open up the pores in the knife with the steel and it, caught, it helps rust develop. So I think they could have stonewashed this pocket clip or given it a different one, maybe a parkerized style pocket clip, which would have been really, really cool. So overall guys, I'm, I'm actually just still very impressed with this knife. It, it flips very well for its deployment. It's so, so quiet, just listen. That was actually a really bad one, but so quiet because it doesn't have steel liners to, to vibrate the sound through. It's very, very thin. I mean, it's just look at that. Very, very thin. The blade steel on it is excellent, and it's just, it weighs practically nothing. For me, this knife, if, if you were to, to use the lower price point one, so not the full carbon, that knife actually reminds me a lot of the knife right here for that price category. The, the standard Skylines are right around 50 bucks. This one's right around 50 bucks. If you had to go with either this CRKT or a standard Skyline, I would go the standard Skyline any day of the week. For what you get for the money, it's amazing. Even if you don't have all the extras like the upgraded steel, 
and the carbon fiber handles. The Skyline is just really, really awesome. But since now we're talking about the full carbon one, in a lot of respects, it reminds me a lot of this knife. The biggest difference being that 940 on the table is like 260 bucks. That Skyline on the table, 100 bucks. And even with a little bit of issues that we're having right there with the FRN backspacer, the knife was only 100 bucks versus this one where if you watched my 940-1 video, the screws stick out. The blade edge is, is not completely even. On the top here, we've got issues right there. And there's even blade centering issues. So, in other words, for a knife that costs not quite a third of the price, but a knife that does cost significantly less amount of money, I feel that you almost get a better quality piece with the Kershaw Skyline as well. So, Overall guys, with this knife, I've been just incredibly impressed. Everything about it's really impressed me. It cuts so, so well. The carbon fiber on it was absolutely beautiful. They spared no expense. The steel on it is very, very acceptable. My only real complaints are the misaligned backspacer, this ugly, ugly pocket clip, and it being a flipper. But with the flipper being a side because that's your only method of deployment, I've been very impressed with this knife. What I would really like to see, which would be awesome in the next rendition of this, is if Kershaw actually made this backspacer an integral piece of this handle. Slab over there. That would just be awesome and it shows that they would go the extra mile. So, And the last thing on this that I just kind of noticed whenever I was playing with this is the detent. Let me just kind of talk about that real quick. This isn't any crazy, crazy detented knife. I, I don't understand people with their huge, crazy detents, but the knife, the detent on this knife works very, very well, and I've been very impressed. So, Anyways, guys, I'm going to give a quick shout-out to Adam. Hey, bro, thanks for letting me borrow your knife for a week. I've been very impressed with it. And if you're looking for a good knife, guys, that won't break the bank, and maybe something that you want to use as a hiker's companion to supplement whatever else you're carrying, I strongly recommend this knife. So, anyway, guys, that is my review on the carbon fiber, full carbon fiber Kershaw Skyline.